بسم اللہ الرحمن الرحیم السلام علیکم آئی ایم پروفیسر حسن اینڈ یو آر واچنگ مائی چینل پروفیسر حسن ہمیوں ڈیئر اسٹوڈنٹس ٹوڈے آئی ول ڈسکس فورٹین امپورٹنٹ اسٹیٹسٹکس کانسیپٹس فار گیٹنگ سکسیس ان ایوری ریٹنگ ٹیسٹ آف اسٹیٹسٹکس بفور اسٹارٹنگ ٹوڈے از وائٹل لیکچر آئی ریکویسٹ ایوری ون subscribe to my channel like and share my channel and click the bell icon for the notifications of the next important videos let's start question number one is in a normal distribution lower quartile is given it is 20 and upper quartile is given it is 30 and the question is find the mode a very important question we know in normal distribution mean is equal to median is equal to mode and we know that q3 minus q2 is equal to q2 minus q1 i will take the support of this formula just substitute the values 30 minus q2 which is median is not given x is equal to x minus 20 that will be 30 plus 20 is equal to 2x 50 over 2 is equal to x median will be equal to 25 if median is 25 mean will also be 25 and mode will also be 25 a very important question then we know the very important concept of partial correlation coefficient its range is minus 1 to plus 1 i will discuss the formula r12.3 that will be equal to r 1 2 you will take 1 2 minus make the pairs r 1 3 into r 2 3 divided by under root 1 minus r square 1 3 multiply by under root 1 minus r square 2 3 a very important question next question is range of coefficient of concordance is a very important concept I will discuss with you and I will compare it with the Spearman rank correlation coefficient here I will write Spearman rank and coefficient of concordance dear candidates these are the two important concepts of statistics Spearman rank correlation coefficient ranges from minus 1 to plus 1 and it ranges from 0 to plus 1 it was given by Spearman and it was given by Morris G. Kendall it is used for the two data sets of ranking for the two sets of ranking and coefficient of concordance is used for more than two data sets of ranking it is also used for the same purpose coefficient of concordance and when w is equal to zero it means no agreement and when w is equal to one it means complete agreement a very important concepts all these next question is in MANOVA study variables are at least two in multivariate analysis of variance the study variable must be two at least two two or more than two next question is which test is used for testing population spearman rank correlation coefficient we use t test a very important one next question is number of road accidents on multan road is an example of dear students we know about the discrete data about the continuous data about the qualitative data whenever we talk about the number of things number of chairs number of washing machines number of students number of children number of family members number of boys number of girls number of teachers number of road accidents these all are the examples of quantitative data as well as discrete data and whenever we talk about the data which cannot be which cannot be counted which can which can be measured only heights we have weights we have salary we have when we have the rupees in the rupees salary in rupees all these are the examples of the quantitative data as well as the continuous data and when you talk about the intelligence about the beauty about the smoking habits these all are the examples of qualitative data a very important question next question is
a man can use a tie and a suit from four suits and seven ties he has four suits and seven ties in how many ways in that question we will use a multiplicative law in all these questions Four multiplied by seven. Twenty-eight ways will be the correct answer. First of all, he will take first tie with every first suit with every tie. Seven one the seven. Then second suit with all the ties. Third suit with all the ties. Fourth suit with all the ties. Seven for the twenty-eight ways he can adopt for every suit with the tie. A very important one. Next question is. Price relative is independent of. Price relative is independent of unit of measurement. Index numbers are unitless. We know we discuss P n over P naught multiplied by hundred. For example, price of the current year is in rupees, and price of the old year, which is a base year, is also in rupees. These will be cancelled. In index numbers, in price relatives, we have unitless measure actually. A very important one. Next question is time reversal test. Which is satisfied by Fisher as well as Marshall, and what is that test? P naught n multiplied P n naught is equal to one. This is used for two years. A very important question and concept. There are two years, two thousand seven, two thousand eight. One is the current, and second is the base. Then second is the base. First is the current one. It is used for two years. Next question is. f of 1 minus alpha v1 comma v2 in the f distribution these are the two degrees of freedom that will be equal to 1 over f alpha v2 comma v1 when you take the reciprocal the degree of freedom will be changed v2 will be the first one v1 will be the second one and 1 minus alpha will be only f alpha next question is maximum likelihood estimators are mles are consistent they are efficient they are sufficient but they are not unbiased next question is if h1 is given it is mu is greater than 30 it is one tailed test to the right side right tailed test if we have mu is equal mu less than 15 it is one tail left tailed If peak of data is less than normal curve, then we have platycurtic. If peak of the data is more than normal curve, we have leptocurtic. A very important concept. Now the last question of today's lecture, and that is, we know standard normal distribution. In standard normal, mean is zero and variance is equal to one. If x follows standard normal with zero one. And y also follows normal distribution with zero one. Then x over y will be log normal. A very important question. Dear candidates, dear students, I will wait for your precious comments on today's lecture. Assalamualaikum.